What's up guys? Today we are watching season 5 episode 3 of Peaky Blinders. So, last episode was a bit much, you know, Tommy got a present of himself basically on a cross surrounded by bombs and you know, such a great present, you know, but it was creepy. Um, Michael came home and not only that, but he came home married. I didn't think he'd ever come home married just like that, but you know what? You do you, Michael. And I forgot dude's name, but one of the dudes on our side, his son was killed by a Billy Boy. And the song that they were singing during it, creepy as fuck. But by the end of the episode, Tommy and that dude were talking about going after them and everything. And I'm ready to see how that's gonna turn out so I guess let's just get into the episode why are we going to an orphanage is it one of his because I'm sure didn't they open a few orphanages wanted to speak to us, Mr. Shelby. Yep. All of us. Yep. <clears throat> At 6.30 in the morning. Yes. Early as fuck in the morning. And for what? Nor do we use language. Nor do we find fault in the innocent. Yet you do. You fucking do. Damn, even Polly's coming at you. Who hanged herself for fear of your temper? I do not see how. Now she definitely can't see, man. Look at me! Funding withdrawn. So he takes away your money, breaks your glasses. And leaves. For you. And I still might yet decide to come for you. I will wear high heels so you can hear my approach on the cobblestones and have time to repent. Happy birthday, Paul. You could have grand in the whole shit. It's Polly's birthday! Hell yeah. London is establishing a relationship with Jimmy McCavill, so cancel your appointments, and Ida can take Gina to the hospital. That's what women do. Maybe he just wanted to be there for her with that, you know? But... This is the whole family. Why me? Because Abbott Armagold is in love with you. He even got an haircut. And the smell of your perfume. He saw that. <laughs> Brown, we're trying to catch. Oh, don't forget to wipe that shit off your shoes, eh? They really treating him like an outsider still. It's so weird. You both met bad men before. The man we're about to meet is the devil. Okay. I didn't think you would describe him like that. He's calling that dude the devil. Help you in your cause. McCavern is one of these men. He runs the East Glasgow shipyards. He killed an associate of mine. And he has no idea who it is, even though he's been, like, talking with them. Michael. Michael Gray. You lost all your cousin's money in America playing the fool. He knows who you are. He's afraid his wife will never return. 
My spies tell me she's been seen with another man. Arthur. He don't get under his skin. And bingo. 20 seconds in and I have them speaking their walk lingo. <sighs> I would like to see this man meet Alfie. Even though he's dead, I feel like they would have great interaction. That investigation of the dead journalist, the queer, I've made that go away. Read it. So could he be a good asset? on our side if we cooperate are we gonna cooperate but then again tommy did call him the devil fuck fuck arthur i didn't realize how mad arthur was getting i've just been invited <clears throat> become the deputy leader of a brand new political party. These people say they are the future. To divorce a Shelby man, you have to go to a solicitor in London. I found one. He said he'd represent me. But I put the phone down. So she's trying to get divorced from Tommy. And then she's trying to get divorced from Arthur words. Hm. I used to fuck seven men a day and now I'm learning how to ride a horse side saddle. Is that a good example though? Someone called Polly Gray to see you? Yes or no? Yes. Who wouldn't want to see Polly? To take you to the clinic. I already told Michael, my husband or no one. I've got a car. They have taxis, even in this fucking city. Look, if, if there's anyone who should take you, I would rather Ada, because I feel like Ada has the most to like connect with. At school, some of the children say that black people and Jews are worse. Worse than what? Than anything. And one teacher. Wait, is that Ada's kid? I didn't... I was so confused as to who this was. But I think that's... Carl, these days there are some very... It's Carl. Oh. Oh, shit. I thought he was someone else. I think I don't want you to be my dad. Because my dad's white. And he's in heaven. That is bad to say to someone and you know what how is he gonna be whenever ada how how is he gonna feel whenever he finds out that ada is pregnant with dude's baby i'm 45 today i'm probably a bit older than that so he knew it was her birthday too And I'll be done. Happy birthday, Polly Gray. Are you giving her one of her own roses? It was just right there, bro. You could have got something else. Picked her own flower to give her. The driver, find out where the Fury family are camped. I need that man to help me. I need my hunting rifle, 50 bullets. Man is gonna go hunting while he's healing. He really just can't wait for Tommy? Or maybe that's why he's doing it. Maybe he doesn't want Tommy to help and is still mad at him since it's like his fault, he says. Carl, I where's the boy? He, he went to buy an ice cream. I decided to tell you she'd be light. You knew I'd be here? Yeah, we knew you'd be here. We have some business for you. 
Tommy doesn't know that that's the baby daddy yet. Or is he about to find out? Dear Michael, I can't find Carl. Buy him an ice cream, eh? The man doesn't trust you. <laughs> Fuck you, Tom. I'm sorry, it was kind of funny, but I do still feel bad for how they're treating Michael. I swear to God, Tom, by the time that baby draws his first breath, you and I will be done. <laughs> I don't blame you. The shit. Perhaps you should see one. <clears throat> He's been coughing a bit lately. Is he actually sick? If it turns out to be something like freaking Alfie, Alfie, at least you can tell. With him, you can't really tell, but it's like... Just something with this cough that I feel something is off. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I have no intention of joining a family. Oh, thank fuck for that, good sir. You'd hate our wedding. I thought you said this was about business. Mm. That means he's going to be joining sooner or later because of Ada, maybe. Or maybe he's going to go. He doesn't seem like that bad of a person. I suppose there are a few things I can do on my own initiative. And he still doesn't know. Halfway through the season, still don't know. So, <laughs> I just want to see him find out. I thought you were staying over in London. Hello, Johnny. How are you? Hey. Why are you like that in the man's r office? Don't worry, Sandra. The only way to get fired from this household is through burnt toast. Or talking to the police. <laughs> At least he's being cool about it. Everything Johnny said is lies. He's figured he said something. Is he the snitch? Gallop from Meriden. He said Abarama wants you to know that he's gone to Scotland to deal with his business himself. And that you know what that meant. So now he knows. Dude's doing it by himself. And Polly's Bentley. She fucking helped him. <laughs> She fucking helped him. I don't think she knew she helped him, though. Well, you could just manage to sit in a car with Arthur and follow the pattern to find the Fury family. Arthur will take care of everything that requires bones and muscles. I warned you, Tom. They're going to be the death of one of us. It looks like it's going to be fucking me. Liberty. Freedom. At least she got you a gift. Freedom. Mine. They want to take Michael and the baby to New York. Yes. Does Polly know the gender of the babies? She appears to guess everyone else's. Yeah, help. Michael wants you to come with us. We can all live in Long Island right on the beach. But what if she doesn't want that? But then also, wouldn't she want that? Like, her grandbaby, you know, her son, his wife. You see, we all try and get away. But we never do. That's really the truth. I feel like every season, someone plans on trying to get out. And they don't. We go in a straight line. And my baby will be born in New York. You sure about that? What if you don't get back in time? What if she ends up dying? I don't want to think about that. Sad. I've been sad. That's so 
socialist? Because it's not part of the current strategy. Are you okay, Thomas? Obviously not. Happy or sad, Thomas? And she's back. <sighs> there and then I made a decision. And when I heard your car pull up, I got changed. So you're deciding to stay? I've got the hand of day on either side. Do you let me in sometimes? Into your head? She really thinks that he would do that? Or has he been doing that? Didn't Linda leave? So like, why is he sleeping in the chair? Unless he just passed out from being drunk. I'll stay there all night if I have to. I won't go nowhere. Not Scotland. Do you tell me what it is you know? Come on, you can't expect him to do what you want whenever he also wants to try and fix his love life. If it were the other way around, you would do what you want. Arthur, he is a Quaker who was a friend and not like us. They talk. I'll speak to him. Mm. Don't tell me he's going to go over there and like beat his ass, kill him. Who are you talking to? I have to ask you because Maggie at the exchange won't tell me. Why are you listening in on his shit? I'm looking for Linda Sherwood. Do you know her? Hi, I'm Arthur. If you're her husband, she doesn't want to talk to you. I look at you. <laughs> oh, no. I'm scared about what he's probably going to do. He drove with him. Hmm? Let's have a look, right? Let's have a look. Got inside here, eh? Arthur, calm your calm yourself, man. How can life become At this point, I don't blame Linda as to why she would want a divorce. He's got anger issues. Like, did he just suffocate the man? But I also heard, like, a knife. I'm a good man. I'm a fucking good man like you. Are you though? Look at what you just did. Like that is sad. But my aunt, these ants belong to the devil. The fucking devil! Didn't Thomas say the devil was that dude? Girlie Arthur is going to Scotland, so he needs hand grenades. How many? Sake, it's like it's normal. Our friends at the BSA still have lots left from the war, but we can't give them. Give them. Put them on my account. Yeah. How many? Three, Connie. Three. He's just trying to see how many you want. Don't come at him. That's them! The Billy Boys! Oh, fuck. What's about to happen? 
can easily steal them all. I have the keys to the truck. Is that the dude that killed his son? I forgot what the dude looked like. Because he looked like dude, he recognized him. Okay then, start your shit. I didn't realize that was, is that oil? I would think it is. I didn't think it was that. Mr. Shelby! At last you're alone. I think we'll make quite the team. The pheasants won't know what hit them. British Union of Fascists will be born on January the 1st of next year. First day of a new decade. What day is it today? It don't look like it's winter yet, so you still have a long time. I've agreed to work with our friend. He's going to announce on January 1st. I need to know that my position as informants against him is officially sanctioned. What if somehow dude is going to know that that's happening? Morning, Mr. Gold. I was about to say, where the hell was that dude? How the fuck did you find me? How the fuck did they find me? I can't let it slip. Give you no choice, though. What? Damn, Arthur. They're gonna be there to hurt you, too, if you're, like, helping them. They're seeking a man by the name of Abarama Gold. Hand the gentleman over, and no one else will be harmed. Grenade. Open it. Fox, take cover. Why is you just look at it and look up as if you have to ask for permission to do something to try and save your life? So Tommy Shelby. It's what you want. It's war you shall have. Uh, you killed other dude's son. You went after someone that he likes. He'll go after people you like. See, that was a devilish look. But you know what? This episode, it's like... It came to be too much in a way. Because it's like... A little bit but also barely anything happened but what's it called i didn't think linda would have went through with like trying to get a divorce from arthur but it seemed like she's was like actually trying to just like what's her name lizzie but apparently from the way that like tommy's acting she's not gonna be able to do it and I'm kind of thinking that, like, if she's not going to be able to divorce Arthur, she's somehow going to die. I don't know. It's just, like, I have a feeling that that's going to happen. Because it's, like, love Arthur, but he has anger issues. Everyone knows he has anger issues. And he seemed to be so, like, gentle and everything with Linda at first. Now... He seems to get rough with her and I understand why she wants a divorce. Like, I'm sorry, I divorce you too, Arthur. Like, no. But I didn't expect dude to go try and like fight the Billy Boys with like a different squad without Tommy. But you know, man was getting impatient 
and like he's trying to avenge the death of his son but it's like you could have waited a little bit you could have had a way better plan because if Arthur didn't show up dude would have been dead but he did so that just gives him an out with that but it's like I feel like he's gonna have some kind of repercussion for doing that because I mean Tommy was pissed Tommy was pissed that he did that and I would be too because bro I understand your son died but you have to wait I don't know and the thing with Michael and his wife what's it called whenever she was talking to Polly earlier and like telling her to plan that they wanted to like go to Rhode Island I think it was in a way, it's like, I always thought, like, every season, someone tries to go away somehow and, like, get out, but it never ends up working for them. So it's like, how is it going to work for them this time? Like, just because she's, like, her, that doesn't mean it's going to work for her, you know? But if she thinks so, then... And also, with how Tommy's been acting and, like, how he speaks about the Sam Claffin's character, it's like... Whenever he was on the phone earlier telling them the plan of like what dude's new group is gonna do on January 1st, I kind of think that somehow someone's gonna know and like they're gonna tell other dude and like Tommy's plan is gonna fail. I could be wrong, but it just, it gives me that feeling because Tommy described him as the devil. He hasn't described anyone like that before. So he feels like a much bigger threat, you know? But you never know. We're going to see with that. And I want to figure out what's going to happen next with all this shit. So I guess come back for episode four.